Uh, Stefan, why was it important for you to take on this role? And has playing Rashawn, Rashawn changed your uh, perspective on law enforcement and victims of police brutality? Um, well, I mean, much like Jasmine and, and, and any actor, I mean, I think that you, you consider yourself for a project, um, you know, you want to be excited by it. You want to be excited by the role, which I was, and excited by the story. Um, but obviously, I felt like there was this social relevance and importance, um, you know, to this story. Um, as far as whether it's changed my outlook, not really. You know, I've been very familiar with these stories. Um, we see them all the time in the news. Um, these stories are unfortunately, you know, not so new or not so unheard of. Um, and so for me, I think just as an artist, it, it was just a great opportunity to be able to, again, just have a moment to shine light on some of these instances, um, to, 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 you know, I think give a level of humanity to these characters um, is something that I really, really uh, was excited about. Um, Stefan, each episode of Hashtag Free Rayshawn is an adrenaline thrill ride. As an actor, was the experience of shooting short form content different than your previous work? No, not at all. Um, I mean, you know, I think that we were all a little bit uh, weary of what exactly Quibi was and, 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 you know, what that would mean for our whole filming process. Um, but, you know, to me, you know, I've, I've done you know, a number of films and this just felt like it fell in line with all of those films, just as far as pacing, as far as energy. You know, we had one great um, director, the captain of the ship, Seed Man. Um, you know, so we weren't switching directors from episode to episode, which was, was great to just have one voice. Um, you know, I think we, we, we shot it, you know, almost like a, a film. And so it felt very, very natural. And Stefan, tell us, what was it like working with executive producer Antoine Fuqua and director Sith Main? Um, I really enjoy working with Antoine. I've been a big fan of his work, um, you know, for a long time. Uh, Antoine and I sat down for, for lunch, um, you know, the first time he presented me this idea of Free Ray Sean. Um, you know, that was sort of a, a modern day take on, on Dog Day Afternoon. And, you know, Dog Day Afternoon is one of my favorite films ever. Um, and to be able to do it with a guy like, you know, Antoine um, at the helm and, and obviously finding out that Steve Mann, who, who's been brilliant pretty much since the beginning, was going to be involved. It, it all just made it a really, really exciting prospects. Those guys are, um, you know, they're top of the line as far as vision, as far as execution. And I think that uh, we see a prime example of that in, in, in this piece.